of the day. And it's one of the other two undefeated players. Schwarzen. Schwarzen? Schwarzen? Schwarzen. It's Schwarzen. And uh, he might be the consensus favorite in this stage for the West. Vitor, though, certainly making an argument for it. On the other side of it, Adrian Piedra, Pelon Army, The Rock, the Aztec Eagle. Looking for his first win today. Trying to stay relevant. Kevin Kim saying, does this mean Star Wars out of the no-kill tournament today? No, it does not. Um, because this is a full-on round-robin stage. Uh, let's see, Thanos saying, who do I think would win, Mortar or, Morton or Jupiter King? Uh, yes, that's my answer to that question. Yes. Here we go, final match of the day. Schwarzen versus Adrian Piedra. Little Neon Bro saying, boy, saying, Richard, your favorite is having a burrito. Food. I'm an alpha store guy. So Adrian Piedra, Skeleton Barrel with Mortar. And Schwarzen just throws the bridge barbs right into the Mortar, takes two shots. But now putting pressure on early against one of Mexico's biggest stars in Clash Royale. Jaman. J-Man, thank you very much. Yeah, guys, use code RICH in the shop, R-I-C-H. There you go, code RICH in the shop. Alpha Moriarty in the Trobo chat saying, I want Adrian in top four. He's the only final CCS player still going. Yeah, whatever, Adrian winning should put a smile on your face, guys. En general. Miner goes right to those stabs. Gang comes behind it. Has Boss played? Yes, Boss played. Got swept earlier. Now one and two so far in the group stage. Four more matches to be played after this one. Doing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, folks. Four more matches. Our 0-3 players pretty much have to go 4-0 from this point on if they want to stay in. Aggressive play on the left-hand side from Adrian Piedra. Skeleton Dragons, though, will deal with most of that. And now Lava set up nicely on the right-hand side. Night Witch behind. Miner should go to the Musketeer here, I think. Gang to protect. Good job with the Miner inside, but Gang does get the pickup. Zap to clear. And that Miner also keeps the Mortar off tower for a little while. Fireball makes it a little bit of room. And there you go. Lava Pups on the tower right-hand side. Huge damage for the German, 306. To 968 as we go to the final 25 seconds. Mortar not gonna connect with the barb split here. Fireball trying to get the room enough and that mortar might go to tower here. And it does, huge mortar connection for Adrian Piedra. Can he stop? The Miner from putting that fireball range on the right-hand side. No, he cannot fireball in. And there you go. Game number one goes to the German. This is not the final stage, guys. This is stage three. This is the round robin stage. All eight players play the other players in their region, in the west and the east, so seven games each. The top four move on to the final stage. Do I have my money on? That was a betting man, AUK. We're talking about overall in this tournament. Adrian Piedra going Goblin Giant Rage. Wait, but there's no Heal Spirit. Heal Spirit and Baby Dragon are the bands. Interesting choice here from Adrian. Let me just go Goblin Giant Sparky. Ban at left hand side connects for Schwartz and huge advantage early on for the German. First minute away, and it is Schwarzen in the lead one more time, both in games and in damage. D 
does have lots of little ways to deal with that Sparky. No E is no zap, but cage, spears, log, mix some room, and rascals as well. So a lot of swarmy stuff to go for surrounds, make things annoying. And of course, no small spell for Adrian that's effective on those goblin barrels. Good matchup here for Schwartz and Dark Goblin running rough shot on the right hand side. Zap trying to help, but that's 143 on the right hand lane. Schwarzen probably has this one locked up as we go into the final minute of regulation play. So setting up big is Adrian on the left hand side. Could one big push do it for Adrian? Yes, will it? Probably not in this situation. Gonna sack that tower. Now we'll see if this giant push can get it done. It is raged up, Sparky does connect on tower. Surround does distract the Sparky, but a good zap. And now Sparky trying to get it done here. Can it connect one more time? And just like that, Adrian Piedra extends us at least a little bit longer. The question now is can he deal with these goblin barrels and just completely loads up the defense, picks up the bandit as well. Did I just curse Schwarzen here? Log and Rascals should be enough to control. The Rage though, such an X factor with this deck, even playing a no heal spirit version. And you see Schwarzen falling a bit behind on defense, or on Elixir I mean. Bandit does not connect, the Dark Prince picks up 847, so a lot spent by Schwarzen to try to get more damage. And his opponent has a Sparky now a Goblin Giant behind it. A whole lot on tower right now for Adrian Piedra. Nightmare scenario for Schwarzen right now. Rage down, Rascals behind, will clean up the Sparky. Final minute 15. Again, it does feel like Schwarzen should win this at this stage, but Got it wrong once already. Man, that rage just changes everything. Can Adrian get one more troop in front of this Sparky? Mini P.E.K.K.A connects one time. A second catch from the Mini P.E.K.K.A. That is absolutely huge. Surround on the Sparky, 1541 to 603. 41 seconds left. Adrian Piedra just trying to keep these Goblins from doing too much damage to his tower, 432. Remember, spell cycle situation very different now. Schwarzen does okay damage with the fireball there. Log gets rid of the Sparky. Adrian Piedra has 15 seconds to try to make something happen and a nice Rascals to pull that Dark Prince Zap. Does keep the damage from getting on tower, but that's gonna be a GG well played. Adrian Piedra made it close, made it exciting, but Schwarzen does hold on against the onslaught to take the 2-0 lead. A lot of blue on the left hand side of the screen. Barb Hut for Schwarzen. Double bait here for Adrian. Grinder bans our baby dragon and heal spirit. A lot of troops there clumped for the princess. And Log might be a half step early there with that graveyard still being around. Princess goes down. And oh no, the Log from Adrian. The Log from Adrian just opens the door up. Poison gets on the Dark Goblin. And a huge lead change. Schwarzen getting ahead with the first minute of gameplay away. Easy bar barrel there. That Log was just a little bit early. That Log was just 
You know what we're trying to go for when we stop the tankage at the bridge, but then nothing really remaining to deal with the actual skeletons. Thanks for the stay safe and on fires, Lady Royale, Jorgen, everybody over on the Trovo side, do appreciate your support. Big event coming tomorrow, of course, $100 open one more time. I'll link that at the end of the show. Goblin Barrel into the back, Eva's to the front, Schwarzen with a big of a mistake there, he knows it. There you go. Holding on to the log a little bit later is Adrian Pietra getting a good log on the graveyard this time. Easy choice there from Schwarzen on the poison. Going to go Skelly Dragon's high, Bar Barrel for the gobs. And the Barbarian does do a little tankage there as well. 598 to 1129, final 40 seconds of regulation. Adrian doing a good job of varying Goblin Barrel placement in this one. Right, has not been going pure surrounds, has been to the side, to the back corner, all over the place. Knowing he's against Bar Barrel knows that's the best way to maybe get a little bit of chip every single time rather than just give a free negative one trade. Tower down. So can Adrian Pietro do it this time? Nope, Schwarzen reads that one like a book, locks things down, and it's going to be three sweeps in a row. Schwarzen with the 3-0 and joins Vitor at the top 